Someone told me you can put a candle on the banana. Is this true? What? <laughs> Hello. Hi there, people. Happy New Year's Eve. For some of you, it's already 2024. You know, it's the new year. Let me know how it is in the future, because right now it's only like 4 p.m. here. So it's not quite, I'm not quite there yet. So in today's video, I wanted to pretty much do like a recap episode of everything that happened in Bloxburg 2023. Like my rating of Bloxburg in 2023. So yeah, why not? Why not? I was going to do a deleting video, like, you know, the typical, but I think a recap is pretty fun just to kind of, you know, walk down memory lane, even though it's just a year, years worth of things to see like how much we progressed so far, especially with, you know, the brand new development team we got. Without further ado, let's... Let's start. Let's start. I'm basing this off of basically Bloxburg's um, thread of everything that happened this year. I'll be putting their Twitter link in the description so you guys can check out check out their account yourself. Thanks to basically Bloxburg. I do have the update logs like pulled up, you know, in order as well. But I kind of want a more like, you know, visual sort of thing. Anyways, let's begin from January. The Bloxburg team issued a statement regarding the game's future following its acquisition. They cited resource limitations, prompting them to seek external assistance to enhance Bloxburg. The statement generated widespread uncertainty throughout the community so yeah if you guys remember at the beginning of the year they issued this statement because it did get leaked you know people found out before they were able to make a statement officially that um you know Bloxburg was bought out by a company such as coffee stain and people were like oh my gosh it's ruined i'm so scared what's gonna happen to Bloxburg? they're gonna like ruin it or something but um, they decided to post this officially to let us know they're going to keep the feels of Bloxburg. They just needed more help, which they obviously they did. For those new, Bloxburg was, you know, worked on mainly by two people, which was Coeptus and Froggy Hops themselves. They were a two person team, Froggy making a lot of the assets and a lot of like the furniture objects you see in this game. Coeptus mainly did the coding and obviously he did some of the items in the game as well. And they were half and half. So you can only imagine how much they can actually do with just two of them, uh, especially when they have their own personal personal lives and stuff so they needed help so they they went out and did that and they got more people and that's exactly what they needed for a game that has so much potential you definitely need to branch out and get more people to help you out there was no regret in that at all i absolutely love what they've done so far this new development team especially with community managers and stuff they're just so much more connected with the community more than ever because before we really lacked that we didn't have a kind of you know community person from Bloxburg we were just kind of like let left in the dark for a bit so I'm really glad that we have these two new community managers Bram and Lomari they are the perfect fit for this because Bram has been playing the game for so long so he knows quite a lot about the game and he knows obviously the developers personally there's no one else better fitted for it than Bram and Lil Mari, Mari is doing an amazing job as well. Like, I feel like they definitely needed someone kind of like outside of Bloxburg as well to help with this. And obviously she's learning a lot about the game as well. So they are the perfect two. That is what happened in January. But yeah, that was one of the major things in January, but also I believe, not even in January, I think it happened in December. So I guess it doesn't really count for like 2023, but pretty much, yeah, we got New Year's stuff like we do in this recent update, kind of like the fireworks and stuff. Nothing crazy in terms of like Bloxburg updates for January. And in February, the Valentine's Day update added new items, including theme decor, sofas, coffee tables, and subtle coffee stain studios references. Winter decorations were removed and the green grass was re-added. New accounts to join the Bloxburg development group. This is definitely the next update was Valentine's, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, nothing really crazy here. I remember exactly what we got, you know, like pretty much the tables, okay? These like wire tables. What is it called? They're these ones right here, metal spokes. I remember exactly what kind of furniture we got. We got these like metal spokes tables. There was some like tr trouble with it, but they fixed it eventually. Okay, they didn't fix it with carpets, but I think they fixed it with the floor or something. So we got those. We got like the spilled coffee. We, we pretty much got like coffee stain merch in Bloxburg, you know? And then we even got like the newspaper with the coffee stain on it, if you remember this. I can't believe that was like all the way back in February. Like felt like just yesterday we were getting like hints of coffee stain being partnered i remember the reclining chair this was in the february update as well too right sofas yeah and i made my movie theater in february this is where like the new additions in the blocksburg development team they were getting used to the game by helping create some of the furniture items which is why they also removed the credits and the descriptions it's no longer saying made by you know froggy hops or whatever it's because the developers the new developers are also all working on these assets together nothing crazy in february either like nothing like wild all right so what happened in march a few new developers joined twitter and a skincare update ah <laughs> a skincare update that included beauty products furniture sets and new animations 
were added. The Valentine's Day items were removed as well. I see like a photo of Row Builds and her update uh, overview of it. Yes, this was the skincare update. You know, a lot of new animations were shown, like very smooth ones. I really loved it. Definitely a good roleplay update for people who do like get ready, get ready with me or I don't know, like vlogs in Bloxburg because there's like Bloxburg vloggers where people film themselves in a vlogging style. I really like those. Those are cool. In April, the community welcomed two new community managers. Okay, okay. April is when they officially introduced them. Who aimed to be the voice of the players. A gardening update added solar panels, insects, plants, the ability to make jam, vegetables, fruits, multiple new textures, and a color wheel. We got pranked with the color wheel. We got pranked with this color wheel. Like this was the prank and then it became reality except for the spinning thingy. That would be cool for them to add though. Like actually add this because it would help with like content, I guess. Yeah, we got Bram and Lil Mari officially. <laughs> Profile pictures are great. Officially announced two new community managers and I remember when we first got insects like oh my gosh that was mind blowing. Being able to see like the bird house. Look see the bird house animation and like the bird feeder, the bird bath and then there was like like this animation is still crazy. I can't believe it. It's so smooth. Like the possibilities are endless with the animator who's with this team now. Like, oh yeah, the solar panels are also really cool too, like to lower your house bills, like total house bills. That was great. And I love the new cherry blossom tree. I think this is when the cherry blossom tree was added. But yeah, they, yeah, all these new things, those are great. They mentioned the community expressed widespread disappointment with the unexpected lack of an April Fool's update. Yeah, we didn't get an April Fool's update. Um, we got one like online from Froggy. Froggy, I can't believe Froggy did this to us. So in May, we saw the first building revamp with the change of the Bloxburg Gym. With that was a fitness update that added new training items and reworked the skill levels. New foods and animations were also added. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Yoga and fitness studios exploded throughout the game as players rushed to ride the trend. Finally, controversy arose with the appearance of a mysterious individual known as Bloxburglar. Yes, the Bloxburglar. Who is this? We still don't know who it is, um, who's behind this character, but they are still, you know, it's a, it's forever going to be a mystery, I guess. Okay, the Bloxburglar is more of like an online thing. There's no like actual sight sighting of this like in-game as an NPC or anything, but they are just like mainly online personality. And I guess they're pretty much part of the Bloxburg team, <laughs> I guess, I think. So yeah, this was when we got a first taste of new reworked athletic skill, which was great. They introduced skill progression, which I feel like is one of the best ways to go about doing things because with each level you earn, you get a reward. It motivates you to get to the next level. So you got so many different things with like items, you get money, food items, even though you can actually get this before getting to level five. So I don't see the point in that. But anyways, um, you get increased stamina. There was an, a stamina system, I which I forget exists in this game. Like I can't wait to see what the other skills revamped and you know look like. And honestly, like the first major like it's not a major major thing but it's definitely something that has changed within the town itself like it's so crazy that they decided to switch change up a whole new building you know right a brand new building well we got two of them we'll talk about that later but brand new gym so in june a revamped beach and observatory were introduced which were teased by the official blocksburg twitter this is when we started getting i think blocksburg teasers okay i think in may is when we started getting teasers about the gym right that's when they officially started teasers also included new plants beach items new foods multi-level pools and new vehicles this update was very well received by the community it was a really good update brand new beach look at the beach it's, you got showers here too and new furniture items i feel like the major thing was the multi-level pools people have been wanting this feature for such a long time now now that we're able to do multi-level pools yeah it's just i'm not gonna lie i haven't used this feature ever since it released like i did i used it once for a video because it was new. Other than that, I haven't used it since then, but this was a highly requested feature, so I'm really glad that they added it. Um, I remember the teaser picture of like Bram just inside the pool, looking down into the city, into the town, so that is pretty neat, I will say. Um, and vehicles. I don't remember the vehicles. <laughs> what vehicles do we get? I don't remember. Let me check on that actually. So they added that motorcycle, the little wheels, like the kids version, and then we have the RB Beach buggy vehicles. Okay, I remember those were the vehicles added. Oh yeah, we got new dance emotes and animations. So in July, this is where things started getting spicy, okay? It was like the middle of the year at this point. Bloxy Burgers gets destroyed in a fire. Barbie builds captivate the community and the Bloxwork team joins TikTok. <laughs> 
<laughs> like first thing this happened was so crazy like live events you know we got live events pretty much again i think it's been a while when fourth of july was happening and then the fireworks from the festival sh accidentally shot at the blocks burgers and boom explosion happened so yeah that was fun that was great a lot of people were like hyped about it i guess they're probably like what's gonna happen next revamp so in August, Bloxy Burgers turns into Blocks Burgers. However, some players feel that the new building does not fit the game. The August update introduced many commercial items, foods, and more. The job system also underwent a rework, achieving a better balance for all jobs on the map. Not only did we get a brand new, brand new job, brand new building, but the whole work system was updated so that each job felt pretty like, equal. I will say though, there are a few a few jobs that don't feel like they pay very well, and that's um, what which one was it? I feel like it was hairdresser. Hairdresser sucks. My and hairdresser jobs they still feel very lacking to me every job feels equal so i feel more motivated to work the other jobs even though i haven't in a while but um it's just pretty much improved working in bloxburg the most popular job in bloxburg is by far a delivery person um there are people who do you know max out other jobs as well like ice cream seller and stuff and stalker all right moving on september the ninth month quiet month for the game that saw an unusual bug that caused players to freeze when going under doorways with that little mario upload decal poking fun at the halloween update did we get anything in september no we got nothing in september i remember we got nothing in september right in october the halloween update was released that added new tvs tv channels new items foods a victorian furniture set a backpack system trap doors and animations a quest also appeared at the haunted house with sabrina the witch that awarded winners with a trophy at the end that is why september was so quiet so much in the october update this is also top three updates okay top three not only the backpack system was a major thing because you know people were asking for like role play sort of updates trap doors was i feel like trap doors was also really good victorian furniture set was great for builders as well like all around this was great for everybody for builders and role players and then the of course gameplay people as well like sabrina the witch quest okay people hated her because she would make you do one little fetch quest and then she say come back while i take all this time to figure out tomorrow's thing it was mixed i feel like it was very mixed for the quest but it was still a good quest if you did at the very end when you didn't have to wait um then i feel like it's so much better since people did it daily it would kind of became like a chore and it was very mixed I, I will agree it was a, it felt like a chore in the end it was cool it was really cool november kicked off with a surprise toddler update catching the community off guard the update brought new kids items a family tree system a permissions overhaul and more this was also a really great update um, permissions overhaul for sure one of the biggest things um uh, family tree system is really cool i want to say it's like major but i feel like you know it was, it's up there it's up there but yeah finally we got like a kids update we got all this like really cool themed furniture set i i love it it's great role plays as well as building you know aspect goes good balance there um permission was definitely highly requested highly needed especially for people who do like grand openings and stuff um such as myself and uh, many other like content creators and event hosting event hosters in the community because we are so sick of constantly having to guest people um, and throwing parties to just guest everybody who enters the server. Default player permission guests helped out so much. I feel like I got to enjoy my grand opening so much more because I didn't have to guest everybody manually. Alright, the end of the month concluded with another update that added new vehicles, an advent calendar that puzzled the community, Christmas items, revamped ice skating rink, kids, toys and games, currency subscriptions, materials, basic shapes, and so much more. There was quite a bit with the December update, so yeah, we finally got the truck highly requested a lot of community members wanted a truck for the longest time so we got that we got some new materials and just like more once again more roleplay stuff so not too many like i would say christmas limited items but we got a good you know handful okay the advent calendar did not like the advent calendar i will i will admit that it's only for new people or like it was only for hints there was nothing crazy with the advent calendar if I had to be honest. So in December, the annual elf hunt commences, unveiling the purpose of the advent of the calendar. Calendar disappoints much of the community as the intended purpose was only to assist new players. There we go. <laughs> that was the reason. It was disappointing, unfortunately, if you were like a regular player. Because yeah, you guys know how that went, all right? You guys know how that went. Great for new players. You know, no complaints for that, but 
pointless for anybody who's just doing it, you know? <laughs> and then the Santa Slay Trophy also made a return, and the New Year's update introduces party animations, invites, foods, materials, age of feature, name tags, updated terrain, and we added New Year's items. But you guys already saw how this New Year's update went. As always, I don't expect too much for the New Year's updates, but I did find some really pleasant surprises. Um, the karaoke machine, which is great. I love the pinata. The pinata is awesome. And of course, the chocolate fountain, which you can fully customize to whatever you want, like any color. Like, what do you expect from a New Year's update? This is exactly what you expect. But yeah, Bloxburg went through so much this year, and, um, you know, I, as well as many of you, got to experience it all together, and I'm excited for what 2024 has to offer. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some crazy things in 2024, so if you think, you know, Bloxburg is kind of boring still, or eh, alright for now, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm very excited for what 2024 brings and I know they're going to do some crazy stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the Bloxburg development, the new Bloxburg development team has kind of gotten adjusted to how Roblox is because once again, the new developers are like pretty new to like Roblox itself works and how like how many limitations they have. Throughout the year, they're able to kind of finally adjust to what Roblox has to offer and whatnot and, you know, find out what they can actually do and what they can't do. But yeah, that will wrap up um, today's yearly recap of Bloxburg in 2023. I think overall it's a positive experience, lots of learning, and for us, the community as well, to like, you know, learn what these new developers could do. And personally, thank you guys so much for um, supporting me this year in 2023. We had a really great year, and I'm hoping to do as much as I can next year, like even more more like each year i try to do more and more i feel like 2023 i did all right personally i did all right and of course personally like real life maybe meet some more you know content creators and whatnot and try to get myself out there and network but um thank you bread fam so much for an amazing 2023 i wouldn't be here today without you guys and without your support so i will always forever read your guys comments and reply to as many as i can um it's getting a little bit tougher but i still try my best to heart as many comments and read them forever grateful thank you guys for everything uh, you guys are continuing to make my dreams come true this is still a dream to me i'm still working hard for this dream because you know youtube and making content is my my dream job With your guys help i'm able to support my family and um just my personal life as well so your guys support is literally feeding me so um yeah thank you guys if you guys did enjoy this episode though you find it interesting helpful in a way make sure to give a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button too it is completely free and i'll see you guys next year <laughs> okay i will have a great one have a great new year's bye happy new year oh my gosh i can't 2024 just does not feel real i've been making content on this game since like mid 2017 basically like six years i've been in blocksburg i've been doing blocksburg content for like six years